Hello, Leo. Welcome to a love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love at this time and who you might be dealing with a little bit about them. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Leo watching. All right, let's jump right in for Leo. Spirit angels. Messages, please, for Leo. For Leo, what do we need to know, Spirit, about love? It's for Leo. Messages. For the month of June. So we got for you, Leo. Eight of Cups, Page of Cups, the Devil, Capricorn Energy, Nine of Swords, Four of Wands, Strength. There you are, Leo, showing up to your own reading. Bottom of the deck, overall energy, the Six of Cups, Six of Cups, Four of Wands. I instantly think of soulmates, but. I feel like this is just someone from your past because I think this page of cups is an apology. Can we get some more insight for Leo regarding these energies? What do we need to know? Someone um, I feel is walking away or has walked away. And I think um, they're still thinking about it, about this departure. It still affects them. This could be you, this could be them, but someone's still affected by a departure that had happened, I feel, or is about to happen. What do we need to know about these energies? True love, the connection between you is genuine and true. This is from my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. All of the Oracle decks that I've designed um, are gonna be in the description box. This is one of them. Okay, what else do we need to know? Falling leaves, time changes everything. So usually when I get this card, I'm thinking that time has passed, sufficient time for things to change or you know happen. Um, and then standing firm, you're standing firm against any challenge. Defense, resistance, courage. So over time, I think someone's either gaining courage here or they've become more guarded, we'll see. Despite the fact that this is true love. Can we get some clarity, please? For Leo. Guarding these energies. Now, strength with the, the devil, I really feel like this could be some sort of unhealthy dynamic that someone's kind of still holding on to in a way. I'm getting that someone is kind of, um, what's this? The world reverse. So it could be, yeah, it's almost like, I picked it up like this, I don't know why, but it's almost like someone's resistant to letting go of something. We'll have to see what this is all about. Hopefully this comes back up when I clarify that. But let's start with the Six of Cups. Let me move these over. Why is the Six of Cups here, Spirit? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, someone with Earth in their chart. This could be the person from your past. The King of Pentacles for me as a reader tends to be a provider. Um, so they're already kind of taking care of someone or are in a commitment with someone or are committed to someone. We'll see if that shows up. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What else do we need to know? Three of Cups. Wow, bottom of the deck, Two of Cups. Reuniting with a soulmate. This could be somebody wanting to come together here. 
Could also be a third party, Eight of Swords at the bottom there before that or after that and then the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, um, some of you, I'm picking up that maybe this person is already in another commitment. Maybe over time, you have both kind of been doing your own thing here. Maybe somebody got in the way of your connection. Let me get one more. But this could also just be that someone wants to come together with a soulmate or with someone that they feel is their person. It's still too early to tell, but um, I kind of want to get out there like all the energies I'm feeling here. I'm talking about the Six of Cups. Can I get one more spirit? One more energy. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. I think this is someone that one is, is wanting to come forward. Yeah, the Knight of Pentacles. I think someone's thinking about you, you're thinking about them. It could be an Earth sign or a Cancer. I think this is someone that you have a history with already, Leo. And I think that they want to come together here, maybe bring you some sort of an offer with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, I still feel like some of you are dealing with a third party situation. Let's see what else we have here. Let's move down to the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords. So instantly I think of someone that is anxious, fearful, can't sleep, is stressed by a departure. Tell me about this Eight of Cups and this Nine of Swords. Tell me about this Eight of Cups and Nine of Swords. Six of Wands. Ace of Wands, and then the Two of Swords. So maybe somebody is debating. Undecided. Yeah, Death, Scorpio Energy. I think that this is someone that needs to walk away from something, or they're still very affected by uh, an ending. However, they're thinking of a new beginning here. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands. A successful new beginning. Victory. Overcoming some sort of difficulty. Why, why the Two of Swords, though? It's almost like they might be blocking themselves against this. Scorpio energy with death, if I didn't say that already. <clears throat> why the Two of Swords? Why is the Two of Swords here? Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is someone that's guarded, closed off against a new opportunity or is undecided because maybe there was already an ending. Yeah, the Three of Wands after that. So someone's hesitating here. Kind of waiting. They're not really going after, I think, an offer that is a possibility. And it could be because to go after this new opportunity, they might have to end or change something in their life. Let's see. Tell me about the Four of Wands and the Page of Cups. When I see these two together, I think of someone apologizing in order to have harmony here with the Four of Wands. Tell me about, okay, Five of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Cups and the Four of Wands. Why is the Page of Cups here and the Four of Wands? Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy, the magician at the bottom of the deck. I think that this is someone that is uh, wanting to kind of make peace, call a truce. Again, with the off uh, choice here, two of wands after the magician. What's after that? Yeah, knight of wands, a choice to act. The Magician is very active. The Chariot is very active. The Page of Cups is not. Tell me about this Page of Cups. Tell me about this Page of Cups. The High Priestess. <clears throat> Four of Swords. I think this is someone that has been um, keeping this to themselves. No action, no communication, but now it's like this is what they want to do. Yeah, taking a risk here with the Fool, a new beginning. This is all like about something new. Um, 
Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, the Fool. But there's a conflict here with the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is someone that's not not playing fair, taking advantage of a situation. They could be deceptive. Things don't end well with the Five of Swords. So the Ten of Swords came up, the World Reverse came up, Death came up. There's something about an ending here that I feel, there, I, I still feel like there's two different groups. One group, this ending already happened. And someone is still thinking about it and wanting to move past it. And for others of you, this ending has to happen in order for something to move forward and start new. I still don't have the clarity here about which one it is, definitive, definitively. So let's look over here at the Devil and Strength. The only major arcanas on this um, spread. Tell me about the Devil and Strength. I feel like they're important. Tell me about, let's divide them actually. Tell me about Strength. Tell me about strength. Two of cups, again. Tell me about the devil. Tell me about the devil. Ten of cups. So remember when I said that someone was holding on to something? That's what I think this is. Someone is holding on and stuck almost with the an idea of a happy ending with a soulmate. It's like this is someone that refuses to let go of this dream, hope, or idea. This could be you, Leo. This could be your person. It's a strong bond here or strong attachment that someone has to a dream. Tell me more about this uh, strength card and the devil. Tell me more about strength and the devil. Three of pentacles and ten of swords at the bottom of the deck. I think that someone wants to work out whatever this is, whatever this ten of swords represents. For some of you, there's a third party situation that has to end. And for others of you, it's like you want to work together to overcome this. But the three of wands is like you're waiting for something. Whoever this is, is waiting for something. And there's the moon after that, Pisces energy. There's no clarity. Um, there's something that maybe you don't have all of the answers about. It's like you're waiting for something to come, but you don't know when. Or you don't know when something's going to happen. Or when action will take place here with the moon. But also be careful, because the moon could be about illusions. You might be hoping for something that isn't there. Or seeing something that isn't there. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles. The Empress. The Five of Cups. Strength again. Leo, there you are. And then there's the Seven of Swords. So there's regrets over the past with the Five of Cups. There's an Empress energy, a Divine Feminine energy there. Could be a motherly figure as well. And then we have Strength with the Seven of Swords. So again, it's like I'm getting someone that's trying to hold on to something or control something in such a way so that they can get what they want here. Seven of Swords after that. I mean, sorry, Six of Swords after that. There's something here about a departure. What am I missing? Someone could be wanting to sneak away. But I'm getting that this is not... It's, it's like maybe someone's hoping that another person will sneak away. Or that there's some sort of resolution here. Because there's temperance, Sagittarius energy. This is about things slowly coming together, slowly fixing, resolving, you know, there's balance, 
resolution. And it's like a departure is tied to that. The Six of Swords is leaving something behind. And the Seven of Swords is almost like someone's hiding, being sketchy, or like doing things away from other, like the public. Like they're hiding in the dark. I'm missing something. And I don't know... I don't know what I'm missing. Let's look at your person. Maybe I'll get some clarity when I look at your person. Tell me about this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know? Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy again. Tell me about this person that Leo is, has, or will be dealing with. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Yeah, there's definitely, like, I feel something with a commitment here. Very strong Earth energy as well. And the Queen of Wands. So this is, like, a third-party situation. Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Eight of Pentacles in the Sun with the Three of Wands again. So I think your person has to decide between two. That's the choice. Tell me about the, the higher font, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. If you're not in a third party situation, if there's not another person, then your person has issues with commitments. Maybe they go back and forth about what they truly want. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the higher font. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles, the higher font, the Queen of Wands. Wow, the tower and there's the devil again. You know what I'm getting? I heard playing both sides. I'm also getting that some of you, this person's like slowly working something out, waiting for the right time to cause a tower. For some of you, someone's waiting for the right time to actually like get out of a situation the tower, the devil. And maybe you've kind of been waiting for this Leo. You've been like hoping that this happens so that you and your person can be together, but you've just been disappointed this whole time. Maybe there's a uh, children involved here for some of you. Um, for others of you, I think that this person has been kind of hesitating a little too much. They've been waiting a little too much. It's like they're waiting for this magical opportunity that might not arrive, right? Like, it might not be, happen the way that they're wanting it to happen, right? So what are they going to do if things are not perfect, right? If the perfect circumstances don't present themselves, is this person just going to sit on this? Tell me more about this person. But I don't see any action on uh, from this person. I mean, instead I see the three of wands. This chariot is the one that I think makes me think that this person might be wanting to take action because this is the overall energy. But then when I look down here, there's no action down here other than this page of cups. So, and this eight of cups could also be seen as kind of an action energy, but there's a two of swords here because the decision has not been made. Tell me more about this person. What do we need to know? You were the best thing in my life. Were. Interesting. And I look for you everywhere. Were. So this is, yeah, you have, a, you have a past with this person. But they're not with you right now, Leo. I'm speaking to a Leo that's not with their person. I think you've been trying to be strong here. I think you've also been hopeful for something to happen with this person. Let me know if that's true in the comments. But I also feel like this is out of your control, Leo. It's like you're waiting on someone else. And from what I see here, I think they're waiting for the perfect time to make this choice. Yeah, there's house. There's something at home happening with this person. And then there's great fortune. Maybe they're thinking about money, assets, or this is kind of like the Wheel of Fortune. A magical opportunity that presents itself is kind of what I'm picking up here. It's like this person is hoping that this opportunity where all of the circumstances are perfect and right and they can just 
not have to worry about anything and do what they want to do. You know, I feel like this person has their eye on you here with the page of cups, even though they're at home with someone else. And they're picturing success with you. They're picturing this departure. It's like they maybe dream or fantasize about leaving their situation, but it will cause a tower for them. And so it's like they go back and forth and they might even be breadcrumbing you, giving you just a little bit to keep you still there because they're not, their actions are not reflecting change, right? So it's almost like they might say, I'm working on it, but you don't actually see the results of that, right? Everything has stayed the same. And, you know, every time they think about this departure, there's so much fear here. I feel like someone's very scared. I don't know of what. Maybe they're scared of conflict, five of swords, or being seen as the bad guy. You know, I think that this person's not happy where they are at. And they're thinking about you, looking for you everywhere. Wanting you, you know, because I have the three of cups here with the six of cups. So your connection was very special. You were the best thing in their life. But what does that mean for the future, right? What are this person's next actions towards Leo spirit? Next possible actions towards Leo, towards this connection. What are this person's next possible actions towards Leo? Seven of Wands again. Seven of Wands is the standing firm card. Courage, fighting back, being strong, facing any challenge. But you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing someone that is blocking this yeah bottom of the deck five of pentacles they might lose they might have a loss here because they're holding on to something they need to let go of there's the four of pentacles instead of fighting for what they want and standing their ground and facing this obstacle head on with some courage i think this person is blocking their own happiness they're blocking their own opportunities and they're probably trying to maybe even, you know, maybe they are thinking, I'm going to have this with Leo eventually. I am going to have the happy ending with Leo. But in the meantime, I have to stay strong and keep things afloat in my current life. 